Good morning, it's time for Pastor Rick's Reflections. And on this Memorial Day, we remember from John's Gospel, no one has greater love than to give up one's life for one's friends. Today we remember the people throughout history who have been willing to give up their lives for the sake of freedom, for the sake of their love of their brothers and sisters in Christ. And not only do we remember them, we remember the parents who all of a sudden did not have a child. The wives, the husbands that did not have their spouse anymore. The children who all of a sudden didn't have a parent. And we give thanks for the sacrifices that people made. One of the most famous um, poems that uh, is usually said on a time like this um, comes out of the Great War, as they called it, World War I. It was written by uh, a Canadian who, um, during uh, one of the battles, one of his comrades was killed. And this gentleman not only uh, mourned that, but had to, since I had no chaplain right there, actually uh, served as a chaplain for uh, his funeral. Many of you know it in Flanders Fields. It's uh, the poem from which uh, we get the uh, tradition to have poppies on Memorial Day or, or to wear them uh, as we remember those who have passed. And instead of a prayer in closing, I'll read you this, this poem. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us to die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.